What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield. You guys already know the deal. We're hopping onto that ranked double ladder and we got ourselves another awesome team to show off for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves a Weakness Policy Necrozma team alongside with Tapu Fini and Mental Herb Mimikyu. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. We are on the road to 10k subscribers. That just blows my mind. The support across the channel has been amazing, and I cannot wait to hit that milestone. But starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only, where's my controller? I'm looking for my controller right now, and I cannot find it. I like searching around. Oh, it's back here. It's back here. I got it now, but we're chilling. So like I said, top left corner, we have Necrozma, Prism Armor, and Weakness Policy, Sun Steel Strike, Psychic Fangs, EQ, and Swords Dance to set up. I love this move set on them. We have both our stab moves. We have one great coverage move and a special defense boost when we Dynamax. And then we have Swords Dance potentially set up and sweep a battle. Tapu Fini right next to him with those leftovers and Misty Surge. Moon Blast, Money Water, Combine, and Protect. I also love this move set on this Pokemon. Considering we have two stab moves, a Protect, and a move to set up with Combine. Middle left is going to be our screen's Pokemon with Grimstarl, Light Clay, and Prankster ability, Spirit Break, 4 hour hitting move, and special attack drops, Scary Face to slow down opposing Pokemon, then we have Reflect and Light Screen, 4 hour screen, so we can uh, eat up some physical and special attacking moves. Middle right is another Pokemon I'm going to absolutely love on this team, and this is going to be this Mimikyu right here. I love his ability with Disguise, and we also have the Mental Herb so we can't be taunted. We have Shadow Sneak for first turn priority, Play Rough for our Stab Fairy move, Willow Wisp for Physical Attacker and Burns, and Trick Room to counter it, or if we actually need Trick Room, we can send it off with this Mimikyu. Bottom left corner is going to go to Thunderous, Defiant, and Assault Vest as its item, Wild Charge, Fly, Superpower, and Crunch. Awesome move set for this thing. Bunch of coverage moves can do a lot of damage all around. Final Pokemon is going to be Volcarona. We actually used it in our last video, so if you guys haven't checked out the video, go check it out. But we didn't really use it that much, so hopefully we get to show it off today. We have Flamethrower, Struggle Bug, Rage Powder, and Protect as its moveset. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this weakness policy, Necrozma team. I like how in the intro, we were just recording, getting after it, going through the team preview, and I was just like, yo, where's my controller? I stopped everything to look for my controller, because I usually like to have it in my hand below the face cam. When I realized I didn't have it, I was like, yo, what's going on? But we still went through with it. We're a one-take YouTube channel, and we kept it rolling from there. But hopping into our first battle, we're going up against a Kyogre team alongside with Landris, Sableye, Celesteela, Berserk Moltres, and Wimscott. But that actually leads me to question of the day, and that is, what is your guys' favorite ability in Pokemon Sword and Shield? Consider considering there is so many cool Pokemon with cool abilities, like Mimikyu, we have Disguise on that. I think that's a cool one. Also, I think Berserk on Glarian Moltres is a dope one. And Prison Armor on uh, Necrozma is pretty cool. There's just so many cool ones. Let me know in the comment section down below what is your guys' favorite. But we're getting started here. I think I can lead the Necrozma and get one from there. I think that's decent. I think that's not bad. Does he have any big physical attackers that I have to really watch out for? Not really. So I was going to go into uh, Mimikyu and maybe put on a burn. I'm going to roll into Grimstarl and I might get going with Tapu Fini. Because Tapu Fini's not bad. The Christmas not bad either. Let me check the Christmas real quick. Let's speed up. 113. Not too shabby. I could leave Finny. I could leave Finny here. Finny's not bad. I actually am going to leave Finny. I'm going to bring uh, Necrozma. And then in the final spot, I am going to bring Thunders. It's going to be play. Maybe I should have led Thunders. I definitely need Thunders here. Thunders is a great little pull out here. Considering we're defying, he has an Intimidate mod. And we're super effective up against three of his Pokemon. So I'm really liking him. I'm thinking we should have led him. But I'm fine with definitely Grimstarl and... Uh, and who else did I lead with him? It was Grimstarl and somebody else. I totally forget. Why am I forgetting this? It's kind of weird for me. He goes Sableye and Celesteel. So he can fake it out. He can Rain Dance. He can do a lot here. But we're going to throw out Grimstarl. And yeah, that's what it is. Top of Finny. So I can just set up a... Uh, a calm mind if I really want to set up a light screen. Um, he's probably gonna fake out. Could be the play. It can be play all day. You just have steel moves, which I, which I don't really like. Definitely gonna set up this light screen, and I think I might just calm mind boost. See if we can get rolling from there. We can do a little bit of calm mind, which I'm I, I think I'm gonna do. See what he does. Fake out can come out here onto Grimmy. Yep, onto Grimmy. He's gonna say, hey, knock it off with the screens. He's gonna hit me with a. Probably a steel move here, which I should be able to eat up just fine and be able to set up a screen. And it is going to show me whether he's special or physical, which is lovely. Meet, hey, hey, yo, this thing's meteor beaming. It's got to be going after my Grimstone, right? 100% it's got to be going after my Grimstone. You're going to fake out my Grimstone, you got to be doing that. 
I might die. I might die to max my Finny after this. Meteor Beam coming in hot. Go after Grimmsnarl. I, I would actually love that. Yep. Can we eat? Yes. Grimmsnarl is an absolute monster. Gotta love it. And we're going to set up this light screen now. And I think I'm just going to Moonblast right here. I think Moonblast should be fine for the KO. I don't think we have to waste our Dynamax right here. I think Calm Mind is beautiful. We're set up just dandy. Trick is going to come in here. And hey, yo, you going to take my leftovers? Or are you going to take my Light Clay? Take my Light Clay, please. Which items was target? Give me my eject button. You buttery biscuit. All right, we're gonna get off this moonblast. We're gonna be able to at least knock this thing down to a sash, right? Or just KO it. Okay. Uh, why? Why did I say it has sash? It legit just gave me an eject button. No sash. Flash Cannon's gonna come out here, and he's gonna eject me out of here. That's totally fine. We're gonna go after Grimstar and take me out. All right, I'm cool. I'm totally cool with that. He's gonna beast boost up. That's totally fine. And what's that? Are you boosting up defense? Special attack. Okay, so we do have a light screen up, which is wonderful. And I think we just get out Thunder, so we Dynamax him. We have our Assault Vest. We have our light screen up. I am really liking this. And who's going to throw out? Maybe Kyogre? Let's see who we got. We go Lander. Oh, oh, we totally Dynamaxing. We're totally Dynamaxing. Nice little swap out for us. Our Defiant is going to proc here. Gotta love it. We are boosted on our uh, special attack here too, so I can just drop a nice little water move onto the Lando slot and Dynamax and go into a Max Lightning over on here. And then just Muddy Water. I'm digging it. I'm with it. Let's run it. Let's run it. So we have that Assault Vest onto my uh, Thunderous, and we have a plus one attack boost. Considering we went, we went down one, and then we went up two, so it equals one. Then we're plus one on special defense for our uh, Tapu Fini and plus one on special attack. So I'm really like, liking where we are sitting here. I'm digging it a lot, and we are going to switch strain to electric, which is nice, which is wonderful. But that was just perfect timing on the swaps. Bring out my Thunderous. He brings out Landorus. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. A big boy getting that Dynamax. Hopefully, we can get started off with this video with W, considering our past couple videos we've been playing really, really well. Going 2-1, and one, we had 1-3-0 in our video in the past, but you know what? We're already off to a strong start here, so I am liking this battle. I am digging it. I'm digging it a lot. But yo, do me a favor. Before we actually move along, scroll down a little bit. Look at that subscribe button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Seriously, it does go a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support. It has been going out across the channel. Like I said, I want to hit 10k subscribers so bad. I just keep grinding and pumping out content for you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and watching my videos. We're going to get off this um, Max Lightning and just dump on this Celestial, no problem. Get it out of here. Get it out of my face. We get rid of that thing. He ends up Dynamax into Lando, and I think he's going to drop a rock on me. I think he's going to drop a lovely little rock. We don't have a Reflect up, so that, that could be that could be rough news for us. And he's just going to go for an Airstream, which both my Pokemon should be able to eat up just fine. Yep, top of Vinny eats up. I think is going to go for that Speed Boost, and we are going to be able to get off this uh, Muddy Water here. But at least he just had the Speed Boost for him. Oh, we get a swap, man. I don't like that one bit. Just show he's orbed. Just show he is orbed, and we're gonna uh, pull out Necrozma here. That's rough, man. That is real rough. That is real rough. That eject button, because I really want to get off that muddy water there. Kai Ogre is gonna come through. Okay. Um, I think I just dropped a lightning on the him. He might protect, but I th I still feel like I have to pose that threat, you know? Because if not, then he's gonna get off a heavy move on me. I couldn't make the read. No, we, we got to get after it like that. And I think we just saw uh, Sunsteel Strike. Hmm. We'll get after it. He doesn't have no screen set up. I say we just Sunsteel Strike. Maybe he procs my weakness policy with a uh, with a Quake here. He's just going to drop a Rock Ball. Is that going to go after my, my Thundo? Yep, Thunder should be able to eat here, right? Oh, he does not. Wow. Life or damage definitely giving him a huge boost on that. Dang, man. Dang it. And this battle's pretty much over. This battle's pretty much over. He's going to be able to get off a heavy, heavy water spout here. Which hopefully my boy can eat up. It's going to be tough news. See what happens here. There's a water spout. Water spout doing big damage. We're able to eat. We are able to eat. We are going to be able to get off a sun shield strike, but he still has one more turn. Dang, yo. that If we had that muddy water off, that could have been big for us. I feel like we could have been sitting in a, in a decent position here. But he's just going to finish up this battle. He is just going to finish up this battle here. It's over with. That eject button came up clutch for him for sure. 100% that eject button. I think won him the game. Because just think, if Tapu Fini's in here, that Muddy Water's thriving. Just, just that. And then 
if that money water's in here, we potentially pick up a KO and Landers and my Thunders is alive. But so I think we had a decent battle here. Decent battle to get us started. Gonna end up picking up this L. Which I don't like, but so you guys already know we have battle number two and three to actually come back here and get things rolling. He's gonna quake finally and he's gonna take on my Necros, but super effective. And just taking me out. No policy. No policy happening. But maybe I should have Dynamaxed the Finny earlier. But no, he eject buttoned me, so it was actually a good call to actually swap out. He's gonna come in here, he's gonna drop another water spout. Ooh, is he choice into that? Or is he just going for that? I'm curious, I am curious. Or maybe that's his only double hitting move. Maybe he's rocket scald. But GG to this guy. We start off 0 1, have a strong first battle, but ended up losing in that end. Time to get rolling here, ladies and gentlemen. Hopping into our second battle. Looking for our first victory for today's video. He has a Surf Colossal team alongside with Dragapult, Rotom Wash, Rillaboom, Neutralizing Gas, Weezing, and Slow Start, Regigigas. Okay, I see him. I see him. Um, he has a lot of physical attack. Do I bring in my boy? Do I bring a Mimikyu and just start hucking burns around? Is that the play? I think I'm going to go. I actually might go Grimstar and Necrozma. Get these guys rolling out here. I think that could be a play. Look at Top of Finny. Yeah, Top of Finny definitely needs to come in here. Top of Finny can do some work. And uh, do I go Thunder? You go Thunders. Thunders isn't bad here. I am liking this team again. I really am. I am liking the squad, just different order. Hmm. What does Jeans want to do here? What does Jeans want to do? I think it's Thunder. I'm thinking I'm bringing the boy. Let's run it. Let's run it. Surf Colossal is still such a good combo. I absolutely love it. I think it's fun to use and it's super simple. So if you guys are like just starting off with Sword and Shield and want to start learning combos and stuff, I feel like a Surf Colossal team is perfect. It's so perfect. This is very, very simple and it's very effective too. Like it's been like steady riding. It hasn't been like overpowering. It hasn't been underwhelming. It's been riding a fine line of solid uh, team choices. He's going to roll out with that combo to get started. That's totally fine by me. No, I see you, man. I'm cool with it. I'm totally cool with it. I'm going to set up this Reflect. He's physical, right? I believe so. I believe so. I could actually Spear Break. Ooh, I could go for Scary Face. Right? Is he physical? I'm trying to think. What move goes in for Vocal? If it's Stone Edge, right? Is Stone Edge physical? Oh my lord. It might be. He might be special. I'm thinking of Fire Moves he used. I think he might be special. I'm going to set up a screen that's full of light. And I am going to Dynamax here, and I'm going to hit up on him. I'm going to get after it like that. Maybe he can proc my policy. I, uh, his policy is going to get proc. It's double-double. But I'm thinking he's special. I, like, I cannot think of it. I cannot. I feel like it can go either way. Someone let me know in the comments section below whether Colossal usually runs a special attack inside or physical attack. I feel like it can go either way, but I'm almost positive it's special. Necros is good in Dynamax. Colossal is definitely going to Dynamax. We already know that's happening. But yo, Necros looks so sick in Dynamax. He's just glowing like Glowstone in Minecraft. That's what he looks like. He looks like Glowstone. Like, just look at that. It's the exact same, like, color shading. The way it glows and everything, it just looks the exact same. So we're going to start calling him. We're just going to start calling him Glowstone. <laughs> or Minecraft. Something along those lines. Gonna be able to drop off a lovely little light screen. Mwah. Protect my boy. Protect him. Surf's gonna come through here. Easy eats. And there's that policy proc. That did a decent amount of damage on him. Team engine is popping. If he does outspeed me, I'm just gonna scary face him next turn. That's just how it's gonna roll down. Which he probably will. We're only like 113. Let's see what happens here. He is gonna drop a quake. He's gonna proc my policy. Thank you for proc my policy eat all day so i think he is special i think he is special considering that we were able to eat significantly right there special defense beast coming in here and we're physical we are a lovely little physical there goes our policy i could set up a reflect next turn but we're going to be able to do some decent amount of damage over on this slot i might just scary face drop him here i think that might be play let's see bang nope no need to scary face the crowsman just rolling out here absolutely dumping on him lovely first turn right there Get it out of my face, yo. I'm not dealing with it. We lost that first battle, but we don't make that a habit around here. That's not a habit. We might have a, a weak first battle, but we don't we don't make that a habit. We don't do that at all. But yo, Friday, April 30th, Pokemon Snap, be here, be squared. 
We're gonna be having part one uploaded, and I cannot wait to grind out that content for you guys. That game's gonna be so much fun. It's gonna be so relaxed, and I cannot wait to hang out with you guys and play that. Make sure you guys are out here showing some love on that first video. Smash that like button, all that good stuff. It's gonna drop out really, really, really boom, and uh, I think it just real fuck needs to be set up here. I could steal spike, which I probably am gonna do just for a defense boost right there. Right, defense boost over. Do I hit roll boom? I think I hit Dragapult. Dragapult's just gonna pester and drop T waves and stuff. I don't think he's gonna Phantom Force out here, right? I don't think that's happening. I don't believe that. I don't believe you're gonna do that one bit. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. That son of a gun. That son of a gun! get after this thing. Steel Spike coming out here. We're going to get a defense boost. And how much damage are we going to do? Necrozma. Chill on them. Necrozma is still doing a lot. It will burn. It will burn this dude's buzzing. We get a defense boost here. Roboom is not going to do too, too much. He might go for a wood hammer. Is that what he's going for? He's going for a high horsepower. Which we eat, yo. We tank it up here. Uh, Spirit Break is going to roll through here. Pick up the KO on Dragapult. And I think I'm just going to go for another defense boost over onto that... Uh, I'll take a real boom slot with another steel spike. I'm digging it. I am digging it. I knew this thing had something up his sleeve. I thought he was going to go for the uh, the paras on me. But no, he does not. Do I change up terrain? I might change up terrain here just so he can't glide on me. That's going to be play. I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm changing up terrain. I don't want to deal with that grassy glide. He's going to Phantom Force. Really fine. I mean, that's cool, I guess. You want to do that? <laughs> it's up to you, man. Max Vinesaur coming out here. We're changing up that terrain. Get some damage off on the Thrill Boom. Yo, dude. Necrozma. Chill on him. Necrozma doing a lot out here. And we still have Thunderous and Tapu Fini in the back end. High horsepower coming through here. We eat. We eat those shots all day. We eat them all day. All right, he cannot glide on us anymore. That was a big play by me. Take that glide out of the situation, make Roboom a lot weaker. And I think we just rock out with a Spirit Break, and off that Dragapult. Then we Sun Steel Strike. Sun Steel Strike, that's always like a tongue twister for me. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm getting after it. We running it. Gonna withdraw Roboom. And is this Pokemon gonna be able to take this Steel Shot? It's gonna be Weezing. It's gonna be the Weezers. Neutralizing Gas comes in here, Phantom Force pops, and we are still able to easy eat. Dragapult's gonna drop down here. This battle should be in the bag here. Sun Shield Strike's gonna be able to do, eh, it's gonna be able to do a little bit of damage, but more importantly, we take out Dragapult. It's gonna get back out that uh, that terrain though, which kinda stinks. Which kinda does stink. Spirit Break flying through here. Yeet. Dropping you. Get him out of here. We have screen set up. So I'm, I'm liking where we're sitting here. I can Scary Face, I can Spirit Break. We can just keep rolling here. But I don't think Scary Face is really necessary, considering I feel like Roboom is just going to keep dropping uh, Grassy Glides. There's just no need to waste a turn on that. I think I just Spirit Break and get after it that way. Roboom back out on the field. I need to get rid of him. I still have my Thunders with a Fly, which I like. I'm just going to Spirit Break here. And I could EQ. But I'm going to actually Psychic Fangs. We got Stab here. We have Stab damage. I'd rather go for that. Protect can come out from the Weezing. Hey, hey, you gonna protect on me? That Roboom's gotta go after my, uh, my Nick Crowsman, right? With the high horsepower. Yeah. High horsepower coming in here. That's gonna take out Nick Crowsman. That's totally fine by me. Nick Crowsman did a wonderful job. Took out his Dynamax Pokemon. Got some stat boost for the team. Spirit Breaks can come through here. Do a little bit of damage. Not gonna pick up KO, I don't think. Oh, it does. Oh, it does. That's GG's. That is easy work. Light work for the boys back home. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> gonna get rolling one-on-one -on -one here. The 3v1 unless Weezing is... Never mind. I was gonna say unless Weezing is gonna clutch it up. But this guy just turns off his switch. Hands us the victory. And we can hop into our third and final battle. And look for that winning record. Hopping into our third and final battle. Looking for that winning record. Going up against a Cresselia team. Alongside with Galarian Weezing. Of that Iceberg Pokemon. I don't even know what his name is. I totally forget. He has Blissey, Celestia, and... The boy over there. And the uh, the boy Dusk Ops. I'm going to go with Mimikyu so we can counter Trick Room. Um, what else should I go into? Could go Necrozma here. Necrozma not bad. I see we have 13 seconds. I did take a while to actually pick all this. Uh, I am going to set up some screens here. I'm going to bring in Necrozma. Actually, 
Let's bring you in Necrozma, and I want to throw in Volcarona here. Let's get a little bit of Volcarona love here. Show off the two Pokemon that we haven't showed off in today's video just yet. I am digging this, but I never understood why people turn off their consoles. It just makes no sense to me. It would actually be quicker for them to run the battle and just restart another rank battle. So turn it off, open it up the software and everything. But I do understand if like I was that final loss that just ticked them off to make them not want to play anymore for the rest of the day. They were just like, screw this, I'm done, unplugged their switch and walked out the room and never played Pokemon again. <laughs> We're going to lead these two guys, and Neutralizing Gas is going to come in here, so our Disguise is not popping, or Prankster isn't here as well. Hmm. Good Shadow Sneak. Good Trick Room and Counter up on his Trick Room. I think we are just going to Shadow Sneak here. I don't like this. I just set up a lovely little Light Screen. I'm going to Shadow Sneak, set up a Light Screen, and see what he does here. I, th I think he might set up a Trick Room, or he might be like, I might counter it. We're just going to drop a Shadow Sneak, see how much damage we can do on that thing. I can set up a Trick Room next turn. This was a pretty bad lead, to be honest with you. I may need to swap somebody out here. Dazzle Gleam is going to pop here. Ooh, I don't like that one bit. Leave me alone. Oh, my Disguise is still here. Why? Wait, wait. Doesn't Neutralizing Gas take off abilities? A little confused here. Nightshade is going to pop here. Okay, I'm loving it. I am digging it. But I call it Trick Room now. We call a trick room now. I'm gonna watch this. Watch this play of the week right here. Let's just play of the week. Let's just hard read. Let's just lovely little read here. He's gonna go for a trick room and I'm gonna out trick room. Watch this lovely read here. The Kurosma coming through here. I'll actually play with his mind here. Go ahead, do it. That's something gonna pop here. Go ahead, do it. Go for a trick room. I'm gonna go for a trick room. He's gonna go for a trick room. He's going for a trick room. Yo, we got him so bad. Oh my lord, yo, let's run it. Run it. We gotta win this one now. We're just out playing this fool. Get him out of my face. Get him out of here. <laughs> you gotta love it. You gotta love it. Do I do it again? I think we might do it again. <laughs> I might do it again. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna sword stance here. I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> I'm gonna do it again. No way we pull this off twice. We pull this off twice by doing a sword and, and get us off a sword stance. Oh my lord. <laughs> Yo, that was hilarious. You know, oh no! No, he reads me! He reads me! <laughs> He does me dirty. Oh no. Oh no. I think this one's an L. We tried doing too much, guys. We tried doing too much. Dang it. He reads me. That would have been so funny if we would have gotten it again. Oh man. Lord Dance coming out here. Hopefully he, he just takes out my Mimikyu. Take out my Mimikyu. Nope. It's probably my policy. Can we eat? I got a Dynamax here. Actually, um... I'm trying to think. How can we roll out with this one? I guess my policy. Oh my god, he read me hard. Um, I think play here. It's going to be Dynamax, Max Guard, Trick Room again. <laughs> yep, that's going to be play. That is going to be the play. <laughs> you read me hard, man. This is, just a, this is just a crazy battle right now. I'm plus four on attack. And I wonder what Blitz is going to do. That thing is an absolute HP tank. An HP tank. I wish I had a way of like healing up this guy. Yeah, he's gonna go for another flare. We are just going to uh, guard this one up, waste out a turn there. Untrick him so we can get off a shot. Let's just see what this guy's gonna do. Let's just see. Because I feel like if we get off a shot, we can just max heal spike and take that thing out. Let's see, it's going to flamethrower. Don't tell me you're going after my Mimi. Show my Mimi. Max ooze. Oh no. Eat it up, Mimi. 
I love you. I didn't think he was going to eat that up. The ooze is eaten. Okay, so that's lovely. So he's going to get a special attack boost. Um, hmm, what is play going to be here? Now that we wasted a ton of turns, I think Steel Spike has to come in here. 100% Steel Spike has to come through. We're just going to play rough over on you, and I think we are just going to take out his Dynamax spawn. Let's go for it. I should have went after Bussy. He's going to guard. This battle, this battle is just... It's a mess right now. <laughs> it is such a mess. But hey, we're staying here. We're about it. If you just Dynamax here, that Weezing's dead. We're plus four. That stab's super effective. We get a nice defense boost. And hopefully we can eat up uh, a Bussy Flamethrower. Which I think we can. It's not stab. It is not stab. And he has no boost to it. Let's just see what happens. Playoffs going to come through here. We're going to get roughing it up. Oh, that did a good amount of damage. Steel Spike should say bye-bye to you. We're plus four. We should tell him to go home. Yep. He's in gone. If I can eat up this flamethrower, we're chilling. If I can eat up this flamethrower, we should be just fine here. Unless he brings us down to, like, red. Like, really low and he just shadow sneaks with the dust clop. Or has an another first turn priority move. We still have Grimstar on the back. We do have screens. Neutralizing gas is gone. Flamethrower, eat. Oh, yeah. That's that's easy eats. That's easy eats. And this thing is having leftovers. Uh, can another player off take that out? I'm going to say maybe? It's going to be close. It's going to be kind of close. I'm going to play it off there, and I'm going to use my last item X turn on his Dust Cops that he brings out. I think he's going to bring out his Dust Cops here. Or is he going to show his third and final mod? But, yo, this, this battle's hilarious. You got to love it. That's the Pokemon, Avala. I couldn't think of it. I knew it was like an avalanche thing. I was just going to call it the Titanic Wrecker. <laughs> but we're, we're chilling here. I'm just going to go in here. He's a very slow team. I think I'll just steal Spike and say, hey, Avala, out my face. Out my face. Because if we carry over this thing, it's going to be game. Because Dust Cops can't really do anything. Again, we have full Corona on this team, but I don't think we're going to show him off again. We brought him in here. I don't think we're showing off. Player off comes through. Picks up the KO, yo. GG's baby, winning record for your boy. Winning record for your boy in that awesome third and final battle. That was a fun battle. It was just all around hectic, all around crazy. This thing is actually gonna sash up. Hold up, not over just yet. Oh, it's sturdy, it's sturdy. It's no, no sash for him, he's just sturdy. I think it might be physical, so. I mean, I have Shadow Sneak, we should be fine. He's gonna go for a crunch. A nice, lovely crunch that we eat up. And this is actually like a cool off meta team that this guy uses. I feel like he would have thrived if Trick Room was rolling. But we were able to counter it up and roll from there. So, I dig it. We can Shadow Sneak over into that, uh, that Avalove. Pick that thing out and just hit this thing with a Sun Shield Strike. Pretty much call it a game. But, dude, this battle was so funny. Like, we got started. I was like, dude, I don't know what to do. This one's going to be tough for us. He, he thinks that we're trying to counter Trick Room turn one. We end up dull, and then we counter Trick Room the second turn, make a hard read, get him. And then we try to do it back to back, and he ends up reading us and swapping out, but we were able to uh, do this one just fine by Max Garden, driving out here, getting off a of Swords Dance, and uh, rolling out and dying, or dominating with uh, Necrozma. Let's see, is he going to cancel? I can totally see it. Because we're just going to Shadow Sneak and take out uh, Titanic, dude. Big Iceberg, man. Get him out of my game. Get him out of here. And there's no way Dust Cops is uh, 1v4. If he does, I will give him my YouTube channel for free. Can you imagine we get 1v4 by Dust Cops? I would personally never play Pokemon again. I don't think you guys would allow me to play Pokemon again if I get 1v4 by Dust Cops. But dude, Necrozma is just on a tear. Plus 4, one tap into Dust Cops. We get that win and get that winning record in today's video. Another great set of battles for today's video. We ended up losing that first one, but the second and third battle were fun ones where we got to show off this team and dominate and get two victories. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.